those, then maybe stick with the ones you like. Now I'm going to start with number nine on my list, which is folk. Now, folk just barely squeaked in under the waste of time criteria. Um, the reason I included it though is on the surface it looks really good and it actually ranks really highly in the search engines. So if you did go through and look for apps to sell your photos online, you probably would run into folk. So folk does have a marketplace and competition. So in theory, you could make money on the app. But when I did a bit more research, I found that, you know, the marketplace, Folk doesn't really market to buyers, and it doesn't seem like there's very many buyers on the Folk marketplace at all. So it's very unlikely that you'll make any sales on that marketplace, especially compared to a lot of the other apps that I'm gonna talk about on this list. Now, when it comes to the competitions, most of them are premium missions, which means you have to pay to enter them. So you have to pay a dollar to upload a photo at a chance of winning $300. But there's like thousands of photos in the competition. So the odds are pretty slim that you're gonna win. You'd be much better off taking that $1 and playing almost any game at a casino. Also, the app is totally littered with ads. So if they were able to make money from the marketplace taking account of the stock sales, they wouldn't need all of those ads on the app. So I think that's almost proof that the stock marketplace doesn't make any sales. So, you know, although Folk might be number one in the search results, it's number nine on my list. Now, number eight on the list is Agora. The reason it's so low on the list is I think it'd be really difficult to make consistent money with this app because they only have competitions. They don't have a stock marketplace. But if I was ranking apps based on how entertaining they were, how much fun, or how well designed, then Agora would be much higher on the list. They have lots of competitions on there that seem quite interesting, and they range from winning $1,000 to winning like $25,000. The other thing is with Agora, you can upload one photo to each of the competitions for free, and then you can actually watch ads to get more uploads or pay to get more uploads to the competitions. Now, of course, your photo might be competing with 20,000 other photos for $1,000, so even if you have a really good photo, it's still very unlikely that you're gonna win. But the way the app works with the voting and everything else makes it really fun to follow along to see if you're gonna win. So if you're looking for something that's entertaining and not too worried about actually making any money, this might be a good app to try out. Now number seven on the list is the Getty Images Contributor app. You can use this app to upload to Getty Images or the other Getty sites like iStock. Now, Getty is a huge player in the stock industry, so if you upload their fo your photos with this app, they will probably get in front of buyers through one of the apps. They also did have competitions in there called briefs, but there weren't very many of them. They didn't seem to be uploaded very regularly. Now this app was the hardest to get set up. First, you gotta go through, apply to be a contributor, then you gotta wait a minute. Then you have to go to like another website to finish the sign up. And once you get set up, then the app's pretty dated and difficult to use. So that's why it ranks so low on the list. The other thing is, is that there's actually two other apps higher on the list that you can use to upload photos to the Getty sites. So you're not totally missing out on the buyers with Getty if you use one of those other apps. So if you're already an iStock or a Getty contributor, this might be a good app just to get some of your mobile photos up there. But overall, if you're starting out, you're probably better off with one of the apps higher on the list. Now, number six on the list is DreamSign. Now, DreamSign is a Microsoft site that's been around for quite a while, but most photographers, including myself, have seen the sales decline. So it does seem like the site overall is on kind of a downward trend, um, but I still do see some sales from that site. Now, the app itself looks a little bit dated, but it was easy to get set up, and once I got used to the upload wizard, it was pretty easy to use. The one feature that I really like about this app is that, of course, you can see your sales, which a lot of the other apps that have marketplaces show you. But this one actually shows you what the buyer searched for to find your photo. So as you go through that, it's really interesting to see what buyers are searching for to buy your photos. And you know, knowing this, if you kept reviewing it, could really help you with your keyword in future photos that you upload for stock sites. So overall, a pretty good app. The only reason it's number six on the list is some of the apps that I'm gonna be talking about later on the list have much more popular stock photography sites, so you're likely to get more sales on them than you will on your site. Which brings us to number five on the list, which is 500px. Now, you now, might be familiar with the 500px website, and the app is really just an extension of the website. 
Now, 500px isn't as popular as it used to be. Um, it kind of fell out of favor with a number of photographers based on some decisions they made on the website that kind of benefited the investors at the detriment of the photographers. But overall, it's still a pretty good service. And when you upload your photos to 500px, you can get them sold on the partner site. And one of the partners is Getty. So there's a good chance that if you upload your photos to 500px and they're good photos, they will get seen by some buyers on Getty Images. They also have competitions, they call them quests, where you can go through and upload your photos. You don't have to pay anything to upload your photos, which is nice. Um, the prizes range from like a couple hundred dollars, or sometimes there's some gear, you can you know, win a bag or a those types of things. So again, something that would be probably more fun to play with and actually to make money, but it does seem like it's a pretty good system they have set up for these competitions. So overall, 500px app is a pretty decent app um, that gives kind of the best of both worlds. It does have some stock features as well as some competitions. However, not as good as number four on the list, which is Snapchat. Now, the features of Snapwire are very similar to 500px. They have a marketplace as well as they have competitions. But in the Snapwire, the competitions are more frequent. They actually seem a bit more winnable on Snapwire than they do on 500px or any of the sites that we've talked about so far. Now, Snapwire has a really cool point system that is used to see how many photos you can upload to each site. So you can't even go through and buy uploads. You have to get them through points. And the way that you get points is by making sales or if buyers nominate your photos. So it's actually a really good system because you know the better photographers are then going to be allowed to upload more photos, which is then going to make the buyers happy because they're not going to have to wade through all kinds of different photos that aren't very good. So I think that's probably why the competitions and the briefs on Snapwire are better than the other sites we talked about on this list. Also, another cool thing about Snapwire that I found is that if you have a lot of photos you want to upload, they do support FTP. Now, you do have to contact their support team to get access to it, but if you, you know, have a large part portfolio on, say, Shutterstock, all I did was I just took my link to my Shutterstock portfolio, emailed it to them, and then they gave me access to FTP, which is going to make it a lot easier for you to upload all my previous photos to Snapwire. And I do plan to do that. Snapwire is one of only two apps on this list that I didn't know about before that I know about now that I do plan on uploading all my photos to and, you know, continually uploading my photos to regularly because I do see the potential to make some money from these extra apps. Now we're getting to the top three. Now you really can't go wrong with any of the extra apps, starting with number three, which is Shutterstock. Now Shutterstock doesn't have a competition feature like a lot of the other apps did, but, you know, Shutterstock is a very popular stock website with lots of buyers. And many photographers, including myself, we upload the same photos to many different Microsoft sites, sites, find that Shutterstock is consistently one of the top sites for revenue. So of course, because Shutterstock is one of the top Microsoft sites, this app is more likely to make you money from your photos than the apps that I've discussed so far. Now, anybody can sign up and you don't need to be approved to be a contributor, but your photos do need to be approved before they make it to the Shutterstock site. So you need to upload the photo and you need to wait for it to be reviewed by Shutterstock and then they'll decide whether they include it in the collection or not. Um, so it's really, it is a great place if you're just starting into Microsoft Photography um, to start with Shutterstock as the first site you upload to. Now overall the app's pretty simple and it does everything you want it to do. You know, it suggests keywords for your photos and it lets you go through and see it for yourself. There's a lot of detail. You can drill down by like month or by day and see which photos are selling, which is really nice. And of course, if you're already a Shutterstock contributor, you can just log in with your contributor ID and start uploading photos from your phone right away. Now on to number two. Now this app's been around for a while. I actually installed it years ago, but I decided not to keep it into my regular upload mode. And then I reinstalled it, you know, when I was doing research for this video, and I just loved it. I've been uploading photos to this app every single day since I got installed, and I plan on keeping it in my regular upload. Video. This app is IM. Similar to 500px and Snapwire, IM has a marketplace and has competitions. And similar to 500px, IM has a partnership with Getty. So if you upload your photos for sale on the IM marketplace, they'll also go for sale on the Getty Images marketplace. Also, they have a really nice social feed. There's a lot of great photographers on the site. The app's really easy to use, and it's really quick to upload photos. So overall, just an amazing app. So I just started uploading my best photos to IM, and they don't have an FTP service, so it's gonna take me a while to get all my photos uploaded up there. So I haven't seen any sales yet, but I do expect that once I get my four portfolio up there, based on the research I've done, IM people do make some decent money on there, so I do expect to see some sales in the future. Now, if you're interested in seeing what kind of sales I get on IM, every month on this channel, I do a sales report. And I basically just go through and look at all the sites where I sell my photos on, and I share how much I sold on each site. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this uh, channel, and then you'll get notifications when I do those revenue reports, you'll see what kind of sales I'm actually getting on IM after I get all my photos up over there. And now for the number one spot, Photo. Now, when it comes to making money from your photos, none of the other apps can really compete with Photo, because all the other apps allow you to upload your photos to maybe one or two marketplaces. But Photoloo allows you to upload your photos to many different marketplaces, including Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Big Stock Photos, Deposit Photos, Alamy, and we're constantly adding more. In addition, the Photoloo app can also upload your photos to the social site, so like your Facebook page, or your Twitter feed, or your Instagram, or your Flickr, or your SmugMug. And you're not going to make sales directly from those social sites, but oftentimes you can drive traffic back to your photography website, where you can make money from there as well. However, Photo Loop probably won't be the only app in this list that you install. It doesn't have a lot of the social sharing and liking features that some of the other apps do, and it also doesn't have any competitions. 
But if you're just looking to upload your photos to a lot of star marketplaces and maybe some social sites to make money from your photographs, then Photo is the best app for that. I'll put a link up here where you can go and sign up for a free account. Let's do a quick demo. I just grab the photo I want to upload and choose the sites that I want to upload to. Now I can enter in the title and description. Next, I can enter a different description for the Microsoft site. Now, choose the keywords. Photoloose suggests a lot of great keywords, so you can just tap them. You don't need to type them in. Next is your Facebook post. Now your tweet. And your Instagram post with the hashtags being suggested. Now, just post it to all your sites. Anyways, 